Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of PGA Tour 2K23. We are about to start round two of the Arnold Palmer Invitational at Bay Hill Club and Lodge. Our first round went extremely well. We rocketed to the top of the leaderboard with a minus 12. Our opponent, or rather I should say our rival, Justin Thomas, he didn't do so well. He is plus one. The conditions were perfect. There was no problems. We hit three eagles on the course. It was a really good round. I don't expect uh, conditions in this round to be as friendly as they were in the first round. But let's see what we can do and try to hold our spot at the top of the leaderboard. Let's go golfing. Sports in association with the PGA Tour is delighted to present the season long race for the FedEx mm -hmm. Cup. Today's coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational is about to begin. Please, you could join us for this second round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam and Rich. As this player starts their round in the lead, what should be their focus for today? It's right now the game plan is working, but they still have to go out there and play off the front foot, play on offense, and not worry about who's chasing them. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. Some stuff and let's see what he can do here today that a boy good shot and Henny what are you seeing down there setting up here from about 150 yards going with the nine iron I think Oh, I like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. Just three feet to go to the hole. Don't miss this. They can be costly. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Sitting at minus 13 for the tournament. Here we are at the second tee. Opting for the three wood. Come on, get down. Now, a little off the mark on that approach shot. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. And here we are with the third shot. And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. Well, the leader giving a little hope for the rest of the field there as they put down a bogey on the scorecard. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? 
teeing off here at the third hole. There's a lot of intimidating tee shots on this golf course, Luke. This could be number one. Water down the left-hand side, you obviously want no part of, but if you miss it right in the rough, that is very gnarly and nasty to come out of. The green works away from the player, moving from right to left. The miss is out to the right, but watch out. It's awfully quick coming down that green. Don't chip it or putt it in the water. Choosing the nine iron here. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. This putt coming up is for birdie. And it's making a big statement here today. Game face on early here, Luke. Currently in first position. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Yes, Luke, you got out of bounds on the right-hand side. That shouldn't come into play for the players, but those bunkers down the left-hand side certainly will. If you get a good tee shot away and you find the fairway, the second shot uphill to this par five, you can reach, but still lots of trouble lurking around this green. One win so far this season. Looking for number two here today. That's nicely done. Getting ready to play their third. Now let's switch our focus to Justin Thomas. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Wow, what a save. And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do. They mean business. Ooh, that almost went down. An opportunity to make a par here. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Leading by five shots after that. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Yeah, that one will play. And what's in front of them there, Henny? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. Opting for the 9-iron. Oh, that one's straight at the pipe. All right. Facing a little up and down here to save the par. Oh, well played. Love watching this player around the greens. Big putt for par coming up. That's pretty tidy. Now let's head over and see what JT's been doing. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is up by three shots. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. In the lead and could extend it with a birdie or an eagle on this short hole. Oh, well played. And here we are with the third shot. Now a three-shot lead over the field. Seven feet to the cup. Looks good. 
That will drop, and he will extend the lead. Still in the lead now after that hole. And after a birdie at the last, he'll take the honor on the hole. Finally, you have a green that pitches back towards you ever so slightly, Luke, but still coming into it with a good six, five iron from 195 yards. It's still a difficult task to get it close. And he's safely on the green. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. Just didn't drop. Seven feet to the cup. This is what they have left for par here. Good-looking putt. Solid par putt, that. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Setting up now on a par four. Love this tee shot here, Luke. The fairway camera's pretty good from right to left, kicking the golf ball towards that bunker. So make sure to take one less club off this tee. From there, you make sure that you take enough club for your second shot to carry the front edge. If not, that golf ball will come falling back off the green into the drink. And choosing the eight iron here. Uh, this one's heading towards the rough, I think. Uh, that always looked wet, didn't it? That's a heavy lie this player has drawn. This one looks to be slightly offline here. That's gonna fall in the water, sadly. Henny, how's that ball lying? It's tough to see from here. You can get great connection on this one. The rough's not gonna cause any trouble. It's sitting good. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Come out of the rough, your distance control gets off. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Come on, ball. Come on. Ooh. Let's get back to it, shall we? Setting up from the first cut here in the green. And it's their eighth shot now. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. Beautifully judged. Great tempo on this chip. He's currently tied for first. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Hopefully better than the last. Trying to shake off what happened on the previous hole. You like that, didn't you? Playing from around 190 yards out. They need to flight this one down into the wind. Yeah, that was a side play. Long way away from the hole if they want to make the birdie, though. From the sand, are they able to get up and down? Lovely shot out of the bunker. That's in tight. Let's return to live play now. They're a long way from the hole here. Work to be done.
Oh, so close. Putting for a par now. As we make the turn, it's always good to reflect on what we've seen out there so far. Rich? Well, after nine, so far, so good. It's great to see these two players stepping up, getting the best out of the games. It'll be interesting to see exactly who's going to be ahead at the end of the tournament. This shot from 120 yards. Wind is going straight at his back. He didn't look to hit that one quite so flush. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. And he needs this to save par. And there it is. And this effort by Justin Thomas. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Getting ready to play their third. How close was that to going down? Well done. That takes the pressure off the putt. That's a chip to be proud of. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. Teeing off now at the 11th hole. They have put some hurt on that ball. Send it. Playing this shot from 120 yards. Two strokes off the lead. Yeah, tidy looking shot that one. Justin Thomas, who? He looks like he's having an absolute blast out there today. That was a fantastic shot into this green. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Ooh, right by the hole. Oh, five-footer. It's amazing how tour pros hold these. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Well, that's got to be frustrating. Hit such a great approach shot in, but wasn't able to convert. Trailing by four strokes. And there's always the sense of a birdie in the air when we stride onto a par five tee. Wonderfully played. Time for the second shot at the 12. Oh, will this one hang on and find the fairway? Or is it headed towards the rough? Oh dear. Can he get out of here? They'll have to get their best bunker technique out here because this is nasty. Okay, step one complete, out of the bunker. Now let's go make a putt. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. You can mark it down, that's birdie number four today. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. We've arrived at a par four hole. Where did that come from? That's not his style. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. Yep, solid connection. This is looking good. Well, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Just missed. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. 
Now let's switch our focus to Justin Thomas. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. That was a gallant attempt. And let's see what that shot did to the leaderboard. Our current leader is up by three shots. Teeing off now on the 14th hole. This is such a difficult hole because it, this tee shot lines you up over on the left-hand side where you'll find those bunkers. But if you bail out to the right, well, now you're running into a low area that you have a pretty difficult chip shot to a green that historically is the firmest and fastest on this golf course. Well played. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? He's looking at 20 foot. This will be a good putt to hold. A little birdie look in here. Okay, steady now. Three feet to go here to the hole. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Now let's head over and see what JT's been doing. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. And he holds it. What a putt. Fist pumps all round. That is how you do it from outside range. That was huge. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Strong par four, your dog legs from left to right. Don't miss it out to the right in that bunker. Not only are you hitting your second shot out of the trap, but also you've got some magnolia trees to deal with. This is a very difficult fairway to find because that fairway does chase away from you just over that bunker. This is a very strong par four. And this effort by Justin Thomas. He's happy, just came off a birdie. just missed the hole well this is what you've got to expect when you're coming up against a tour player they put the pressure on penny what have they got in front of them here setting up here from about 175 yards looks to be going with the five iron they're going with a bit more club here let's see if it was the right call trying to move to 12 under par with this putt Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Ouch, that hurts. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. An opportunity to make their par. Job done. Let's head to the next. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. This hole is a par five. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Rich, good chance to get this green in two. Yes, this player's found the fairway, and now they've got the opportunity to knock this on in two. Be wary of coming up short and left, obviously, in the water, but don't be anxious to miss it out to the right, especially in that bunker that's over in the middle of the green on the right-hand side. That really can wreak havoc with the players. Try and find the green at all costs with this second shot. And this putt to move into second place. He's made it for Eagle. Currently 13 under for the event. We find ourselves on a par three here. This hole causes more stress for the players, I think, than any other hole on the golf course, with possibly the exception of number three. This green is nearly impossible to find as it is so firm historically through the years. You find the green, you make your three, and you're smiling earlobe to earlobe. Come on, sit. And this is an extremely long putt. We might even have to hinge on this one.
Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? No, that's too bad. This part of about seven feet to the hole. That's tracking. And down she goes. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. It does. This is actually a semi-blind tee shot. There's a mound down the right-hand side of the fairway where you can't see the golf balls land, so players won't know whether they found the fairway or missed it right or even out on the left-hand side. Most iconic moments in all of golf, in my mind's eye, Robert Gomez holding his second shot here back in 1990 to claim the title. Chosen the pitching wedge here. And that might be one club too many. This putt to move into a tie for first. This one's looking good. Bit too heavy handed there. Par putt coming up here. And that signs off on today's round. Well, that day is in the books, Rich, and this player seems to be going along quite nicely, don't you think? Yeah, two rounds down, Luke, and I got to say, I I'm awfully impressed. This player, the performance has been sublime. I can't wait to watch him in action again. Well, that's all we've got time for today. On behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, Rich Beam, Henny Koyak and John McCarthy, plus all the hard-working folks behind the action at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time. Wow, oh wow. We knew that uh, this round was going to be tough. It certainly was tough. Uh, we hit an 8 on the 8th. We lost our spot in first. Had we not had that disastrous 8th hole, we'd still be in first place. Our rival, Justin Thomas, he's all the way back in 56th place. He was plus 5 for the tournament so far. But we're still fighting. We've got that rivalry settled already, as we already had it settled in the first round. Now we just got to make up for our mistakes in this round and get that W. That's going to bring today's video to a close. Please give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one.